So I have something to tell you, and I'm going to need you not to go try and kill him. Your fiance is a con artist. His name's not Frank, it's Jones Malone. We grew up together, and he has hired us to fleece you for your money. That's not possible. Let me take a wild guess. A chance bump in where you both have the same unique coffee order. Okay. Sparkling conversation with the same unusual interests. And then you don't see him for three weeks. Enough time to have a couple of boring dates so that you're so excited to see him again that it prompts you to ask him out. And then a spontaneous engagement with his mother's ring. A mother that he never met because tragically she died in childbirth. He has run a version of this since high school. He will do this, and then he will disappear. Oh. Little birdie's certainly taking your time. Can't rush a mark, Jonesy. Okay, here we go. I'm not signing anything. This is a scam. <laughs> what? I may not know horses, but I can spot unfounded hype before an IPO. So I get revenge. And you get what exactly? His money. Seems fair. We start by using the truth to sell a lie. The best way to test a product's worth is public valuation. Yeah. What do they call that? Crowd, crowd? Crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing, yeah. Tie the sale price of the horse to the closing odds before the race. It's unorthodox, that's for sure. I love unorthodox. And once we have the new terms, you're gonna name your price. Listen, the current odds on Wicked Swift are 10 to one. Numbers remain the same, price remains the same. One million dollars. Okay, but what if they change? Every point's worth a quarter million. So if the odds get worse, we sell for less than a million? But if the odds get better, boss should be making more. I'd say seven to one, that's, that's almost two million. He will be spending your money in his head, thrilled at the prospect of getting even more than he anticipated. That's where we prime him to put his money in. You're a natural. My cap is two million. Odds get better than six to one, I'm out. Works for me. Once you've hooked him, you leave it to us to handle the odds. Do you really think we can do this? Con men are the easiest marks of all because they never think it can happen to them. And with an ego like Jones's, he will never see it coming. I'm all in. 